Hey everybody, I'm Justin Vandenbrink. I'm the Strategic Sales Director for Premier Oilfield Group and I've got Michael Salazar, Senior Sales Advisor at Premier Oilfield Group. Today we're just giving you a quick industry update um, and we have a special guest here. We're going to be talking about uh, conferences and COVID, so I'd like to introduce uh, Mr. James Hawkins. You are, according to LinkedIn, and if I'm wrong, you let me know, you're a Senior Tech Consultant with Core Geologic. That's correct. Yes. Okay, cool. Can you just quickly tell people uh, what your history is in the oil field and it's brought you up to where you are now, just for, you know, 30 seconds, and then we'll get into what you're doing on the conference side. Sure. Uh, so, yeah, I've been in, in, working in the Permian Basin since 1988, so quite a while, for 32 years. Um, I've been a geologist, petrophysicist, um, also do a lot of other modeling and a lot of things that, uh, that works on different uh, areas of the oil field. Um, and when I started working for uh, uh, the WTGS, trying to volunteer my time, I got involved in uh, the booths, being the chairman of the booths for both the WTGS and the APG Southwest section. Right, and that's what we're here today to talk about. We were having off-camera a little discussion, you know, with this COVID going on right now, uh, the industry, we still have conferences that are coming up on the calendar, but we don't know if they're going to stop, if there's a different way to do them. So you are exhibits chair for both, like you said, the WTGS, which is coming up in Midland, September 22 to 24. That's correct. And then you're also, um, for June 24th to June 26th, the AAPG Southwest section in New Mexico. Yeah, Rio Doso. Rio Doso. You're also the exhibits chair there. Yes, that's correct. So you have some insight. What have you guys been talking about in terms of how things are going to play out with COVID now? Well, yeah, that's a very big concern right now for us because and the, the APG is actually coming up here in a couple months, and we're, we're a little concerned. We don't know what's actually going to happen. We're just kind of waiting to see what happens. Mm -hmm. uh, after the, the, the early um, April, we will make a decision on what we need to do. If we need to postpone it or do we need to cancel it. Um, as far as the WTGS, that one's so far out in advance. Right now, we've just been... Just running everything and planning it as it is and uh, not making any changes or any anything until we know more. Has there been any discussions in terms of adapting to the situation in the event that there really is no change? Maybe having these conferences via webcast or maybe even if delaying it a couple months and if COVID is less of an issue, still maybe figuring out some steps to implement to mitigate any kind of hazardous health and health environment. Well, yeah, those are those are all good concerns. I mean, we just really haven't had the time to sit down because, you know, as you can imagine, we're scattered all over. Absolutely. All the volunteers yeah. are scattered. And we can't get together really to have our meetings. We've been trying to communicate with each other on the phone. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, those are those are some big concerns we definitely need to be thinking about as we move forward with how we want to do this as far as getting proximity to people. I would say probably best thing for you too is prepare as if these things are still going to continue to happen, right? So obviously there's the geopolitical madness coupled with the COVID, but you're still in need of vendors, right? right. Exhibitors to actually be at the booths promoting your business. And what better time than during a downturn to still know that, hey, you're relevant, you're in the game, let's go out here and promote. Right. Well, and not only that, but speakers. It's been really tough trying to get speakers. That's a good point. No one knows if they can travel. No one knows what's going to happen. So no one really wants to try to make any commitments yet until they know more. I would think like a conference, maybe like the social distancing and doing stuff from home, wouldn't that kind of lend itself? You have a speaker. He could speak remotely. And you could have people sign up for cheaper from home mm -hmm. and attend virtually. All right. I mean, that's an option, isn't it? Yeah, the virtual um, symposium is a great idea. I mean, it's, that's it's something that I don't think anybody's ever really thought about or considered. Problem is, all of us like to go somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> right. So we'd rather Travel, be yeah. in a group yeah. and, and act like in of the mountain gods, which is oh, beautiful. Yeah. Yes. Right. Then in Why not play blackjack or a poker tournament yeah. in a place where we can all enjoy? It? There's right. no doubt. But in times like these, I think we all need to adapt and just out of necessity say, okay, yeah. you know, how can we get brought up to speed on a technical level for what the good, bad, and the ugly is going on in the industry today? Right. So speaking of what's going on in the industry, I mean, we covered the conferences, and that's important, and we'll probably get more information from you soon, I imagine. Yes. And people can go to both websites, the APG website. And they can go to WTGS, right? Right. Is it WTGS dot, dot org? Dot org. Okay, and same with AAPG.org. Right. And you can search for Southwest Section. That's correct. Um, 
But what about what's happening in the Permian? Because you know you worked for Callan Petroleum in the past. Yes. You've worked for Apache mm -hmm. in the past, and you are uh, pretty good with your Permian take on things. I'm kind of curious. What do you think is with all the news going on right now? What's going to happen if if COVID keeps on shutting down our industry and we can't work for another two, three, four weeks or or two months? What do you think is going to happen to the small producers in the Permian? In the next six to 12 months well i mean these small guys right i mean i think what they're really going to, have to do is just sit down and actually start looking at their acreage really work it up right start looking at what else what other opportunities are there when their acreage give them some time that they can build up their portfolio with what they have already um and if and if, while you're doing that if something really bad starts happening and continues on then you, you're in the position where you can sell it if you need to, to, to get out of a bond. So we might exit be, strategy. Yeah, an exit strategy. We might be getting, like private equity, for example, they always have an exit strategy. That's so true. does that mean that maybe a lot of these companies are thinking about an earlier exit strategy than previous, or is it still the same kind of timeline? Um, well, you know, I, I, I really don't, I'm not really sure on how, you know, they're looking at that. I would think that they were going to try to continue along as they can. Mm -hmm. and. And it's for as long as they can to try to hold out. I mean, that's what really all of us are trying to do right now. We're trying to hold out till we get past this. And you were telling us just uh, real recent, you've kind of heard about rigs being laid down and how companies are, are being affected right now. Can you maybe talk to that? Like, rigs and frat crew. Yeah, rigs right. and frat crew. Yeah, so, you know, when you look at what's happening, you know, with, uh, with COVID and not being able to work and get together, so a lot of people are having to work remote. Um, and they're trying to reduce their cost because the oil prices are dropping as well with what's going on with, in, with Saudi Arabia. So what we want to do is, or the way I see it, is what you want to do is you want to try to minimize your cost. And then uh, by keeping your cost down, you're able to um, 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 minimize your cost and you can... Just make sure yeah. that going forward, right. uh, your assets are in the right position for... The next couple months if you don't minimize your cost i think what you're trying to say yeah. is you could start losing a lot of money and free cash is king right now right 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 and, and so by dropping speed rigs dropping some of your completions you're you're delaying some of that and you might still cost. be able to be relevant and around right. <laughs> in the next yeah. six months or whatever because if you don't keep drilling then you know your production drop rates drop and you want to try to keep your production rates and by the way you yeah. are as an operator you are required to keep some leases alive by actively drilling, right? Yes, that is absolutely true. There, there are a lot of uh, stipulations where you have to do it. You have to actually keep drilling. Right. And, you know, you can't stop, right? Okay, well, thanks for that. Just a quick hit. We're, we're glad you stopped by our offices. Appreciate that. Um, again... In, in the event that an exhibitor wants to reach out yeah. to you and become a sponsor of WTGS or AAPG Southwest Section, is what's yeah. the... Good email to reach you at. So the best email to reach me is geo underscore h-a-w-k at a-t-t dot net. And a good phone number? 432-638-6670. Uh, awesome. Thank you to our audience for uh, watching this today, and we really appreciate, again, you coming by. So until next time, thanks. Thank you.